For oxygen measurement, we have three techniques that allow us to do that. The first one is the polarographic technique, which has a construction that looks like this, where we have a platinum electrode and we have an electrolyte and we have a silver electrode. And basically, we have a Teflon membrane right there, and this is a site where we sense the oxygen. Uh, basically, the idea is that when the oxygen molecules come through this Teflon membrane through diffusion, by diffusion, uh, they will react with this electrolyte and basically cause a, a current to flow between the uh, silver and the platinum electrodes. And this current can be measured and basically it, it can be uh, used to get the concentration of the oxygen. Galvanic cell or fuel cell uh, uh, sensor has a very similar idea to the polarographic uh, uh, method, polarographic technique, where you have a, a sensing membrane as well and you have an electrolyte and you have an anode and basically the same thing also happens here where you have a, a current uh, that flows between the uh, cathode and the anode based on the concentration of oxygen flowing through this membrane. Uh, the problem of these two techniques is that uh, uh, both rely on diffusion of oxygen through the membrane and uh, through the, the electrolytes. And basically this causes uh, both of them to have a very slow response time between 20 and 30 seconds. So in order to measure uh, an, oxygen, uh, an oxygen reading, uh, we have to wait for almost half a minute to get one, okay? And this is this is not a very good uh, uh, response time for uh, uh, for safe measurement of oxygen. The third technique is the paramag paramagnetic technique, which relies on the fact that the oxygen has a paramagnetic uh, uh, characteristics. Paramagnetic characteristics means that it's affected by a magnetic field. So whenever we apply a magnetic field, the oxygen uh, 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 follows the magnetic field. Basically, in, in the regular, uh, without magnetic field, uh, in, the, in the steady state, uh, oxygen can be arranged in any random orientation. And basically, whenever we turn on the magnet, the oxygen will have to follow the magnet, we have to align with the magnet. So basically, uh, it will cause motion in the inside of the uh, part where the oxygen is uh, present. And so we can actually use that because the uh, the, the, uh, the, the motion of the oxygen with the magnetic field will cause a higher pressure in the side where the oxygen is, uh, oxygen is present. And so we can actually measure that uh, 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 with respect to another reference. We measure the difference between the pressure in these two compartments with, uh, with the use of switch magnetic field. And basically we can get a, 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 a reading with a very fast response time uh, for the oxygen concentration. So basically, it, it can measure uh, inspired and expired oxygen concentration on a breath by breath basis. So basically, you can get an updated value for oxygen each breath, which is really very good. So basically, this is why this is uh, the most widely used uh, uh, oxygen sensor in the market today.